Hey there Cupcakes, quick little trigger warning for this video. It deals with a couple of heavy subjects, a little bit of deaths, and a little bit of like, you know, uh, mm, domestic abuse, a little kind of just mm, light. That sounds very apologist for that type of thing. And I, mm, but still, okay, it, it ends up, it's sweet. It's a sweet story. Nobody's terribly injured. Well, killed, but still, nobody's terribly injured. It's okay, I promise. It sounds worse than it is. But if you're not, <laughs> this is not helping. If you're not in the headspace for it, though, give it a skip. I'll catch you on the next time. It just... I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. I really need to do better with these trigger warnings. Finally. Took you long enough. <laughs> oh. Oh, you don't... <laughs> I was joking. I'm sorry. Um, Normally, one or the other of us has to wait years for the other one to show up. Uh, it's only been a couple of months. You still don't know what I'm... What are you looking at me like that for? Kill you? I didn't kill you. What are you talking about? You... <laughs> you were in an accident when you were fleeing the scene of a crime. Would you like to guess what that crime was? Mm-hmm. I mean, okay, no, not on purpose. You were being pretty rough, but you didn't mean to kill me. I get it. Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't look like that. I, I... I'm not making excuses or trying to make it okay. I'm just saying that... You grabbed my arm and spun me around to keep me from running off on you, and... A million people could have done the same thing a million times, and they never would have ended up slipping and falling and cracking their head like I did. I mean, it wasn't okay for you to put your hands on me, but you weren't trying to hurt me. And honestly, I blame those leather soles. Those shoes were so good-looking, but they had no traction. I get why you were disoriented when you got here, though, because, I mean, that was a pretty bad fight. Must have been quite the memory burn. I'm sorry about that. <sighs> You know, I don't know what went wrong this time. It seemed like we were getting so close to perfect. I mean, it really seemed like we were just nailing it this time. Like, this time our story had all the earmarks of just a great romance, right? Like, what, arranged marriage and we ended up actually falling in love with each other? That's, that's amazing. That's like storybook stuff. But then, like, the moment I started to fall in love with you and show you, suddenly you started sabotaging it. What was up with that? I wonder if it's... I wonder if it's only to do with this life, or if it's, you know, because of what happened the previous time. Oh. Oh. You don't remember. Oh. Uh, let's just say that um, this time was your turn to be an asshole in the relationship, and uh, the last time was mine. Mm. Oh, no. No, no. No. It's, it's not the first time we've tried this. That's what I'm saying. We, we've tried this again and again, and 
usually when it's all said and done, we can sit together and sort of piece out where things went wrong, you know? A hope that we can retain some of it so that we do better in the next life. Of course, we normally have more time to figure things out than, than we do this time. Uh, you sort of lingered there for a while, and that's why you don't remember as much as I do. Um, it comes back to you, slowly and surely. But right now, uh, I, I feel like it's it's getting pretty close for the, the next go-round, or at least for me. I keep getting these sort of premonitions of the future, my next life. I, I think it's going to be very similar to the last one. Um, funny enough, another arranged marriage, but... I don't think I'm unhappy about it like I was last time. Last time, I felt like I'd been, oh, bought. Trapped and sold and bought. I mean, it did make for a great enemies to lovers story, but, um, it was rough in the beginning. Whereas this time, I, I don't get... Any sort of memory of that? Memory is the wrong word. Premonition of that? I, I, I keep getting glimpses of being very happy, very excited for the husband that was chosen for me. I, I mean, unless, unless it's, it's not you, uh, that would be awkward. Maybe, maybe our story is different. Maybe... You're not my husband, but someone I fall in love with later who turns out to be my true love. What, what do you think? Can you, can you feel anything? Can you imagine anything? Close your eyes and picture. Do you see your next life at all? Nothing? Oh, well. You haven't been in the peaceful place long enough yet. Maybe soon it'll come to you. Hey. Hey, you're really stuck in what happened, huh? No, no, no. I get it. It was an accident, and I hope you'll forgive yourself because there's nothing for me to forgive. No. This is the unconditional part of unconditional love. It's the eternal part of eternal love. There's not really anything you could do to change it. Like I said, <laughs> we each get our turn being an asshole. Three lives ago, I was absolutely violent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a little, but I was mean. <laughs> like a little chihuahua. <laughs> Rabid. <laughs> That life, ooh, that life was rough. I, I, I was an orphan who'd learned that fighting was surviving, and I was not an easy person to love in that life, but, um, you did. You, um, you took me in, and you took care of me, and you adopted me, and you held me through every single tantrum until I learned that life didn't have to be a fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, you were, <laughs> you were a, a parent in that one. Uh, no, um, sorry, no, you were, you were, um, you were my mother, my adoptive mother. Um, <laughs> Uh, to be honest, this is the first time we've we've talked about it since uh, since that go round. Um, we were both very awkward when we came out of that because you know, as you're experiencing, the memories and emotions from the most recent life are pretty strong. They're the most strong, but then you get here and you start to remember beyond that. And our memories beyond that 
are of lifetime after lifetime after lifetime of being lovers and friends and soulmates. You know, so to have that overlapping with the whole, um, you were my mother thing w was awkward. It was awkward for, for, um, but also it was also very sweet. It was that feeling of having been everything to each other. That you have been everything to me. And it wasn't the first time you and I had taken care of each other. We've grown old together too many times. <laughs> it's not the first time you fed me or wiped my nose when I was sick. <laughs> And when one day the roles are reversed, um, it won't be the first time I've done it for you. Unless we get this right in this next one. Like, if we can get this right in the next one, I think maybe, maybe we can stop doing this. Maybe we can stop going through this again and again and again. Oh... I don't know. That's, that's my theory. I don't know why we keep going through this. I keep thinking that it's, um, it's some sort of puzzle we're trying to get right. It's some sort of lesson we're trying to learn, finally, that's being presented to us in different ways again and again until we figure it out. <sighs> But I don't know what it is. I keep thinking back to every lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. And the only thing that's consistent is that I always love you. And you always love me. Beyond that, good gravy. What do you mean? No, no, I, I don't want it. I don't want it to stop because I don't want to be with you anymore. Gray, come on, have you not been paying attention? This is soulmates. Literally, look at us. Incorporeal. <laughs> Nothing but soul. <laughs> I just... I like it here. Or more to the point... I like it when we know who we are to each other, what we are to each other. It's, it's peaceful and it's comfortable and it's, it's us. We've had some pretty good lives together, but even when we've had good ones, it, it's not the same as is when we are here, and we are all of ourselves, and we know each other in every way possible. This is always my favorite way to be, right here with you. Hmm? No. No, I don't. What are you thinking? I, I should know what you're thinking, considering I just got done talking about how well we know each other here, but, um... <laughs> Go ahead, tell me what you're thinking. Hmm. That's a possibility. Maybe you're right. Maybe we don't keep going back because we're meant to perfect anything. Maybe we're just meant to keep experiencing. Keep learning. Maybe we're just meant to keep rediscovering each other. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. 
Well, hang on. You're... Mm, the light. You're, you're, you're doing it again. You're... You're glowing and fading and... You're gonna go back before I am. <sighs> no, I, I knew it. I, the guy that I saw myself falling in love with was a few years older. So I've got a little while to wait here until I catch up with you. I hate this part. Yeah. Yeah. I will see you again soon enough. And that's the important part. It's not so bad to sit here for a few years with my memories to keep me company until it's time for me to join you again. It gives me something to look forward to, you know? Okay. I will see you soon, soulmate. I love you. Hey there, Cupcakes. I hope you enjoyed that story. That one kind of got stuck in my head yesterday or sometime over the weekend, and uh, I really wanted to put that out, even though I knew it was going to be um, awkward to talk about some of those things and not make it utterly depressing. But I hope you enjoyed it. I have so many thanks to give out. Thank you always to all of you who are still here listening, and to all of you who like and subscribe and comment and share and become members. Thank you. And I have so many new patrons to welcome. There is Ghostly Razgris and Dragon Prince, Cepeda, Shy Knight Black, Nurnberg, Symbiote King, Nikolai Nygaard Gregerson, Calvin Lex, Candlecake, King Boba, Puppet Master 776, Trav, Preston Holm, Droman 1964, Bowman, Rat, Croissant King, Emmanuel, Leonardo Vivas, Eisenhauser, Ben, Corey M. Andrews, E. and Choosy Newsy. And on my throne, I have so many thanks to Anonymous and to Cass, who is always fun to hang out with when I'm in Zena Alexander's server. I don't, I don't hang out very often, uh, because I'm ironically kind of bashful in front of people, speaking in front of people, and that ends up coming off as aloof or um, sarcastic, because <laughs> uh, the things that come out of my mouth sounds, well, often are sarcastic, but playfully so. Uh, but anyway, um, it he's one of the people that make it easy to talk to. And along with my uh, Baker and Pound Cake tier subscribers also, I've gotten to know so many of them so well that little by little it gets easier to talk in front of people, which is so very nice considering at this rate, sometime in the next decade, I'll be able to actually stream without Zena holding my hand. But in the meantime, I would like to thank all of those people. There's Bowman, Alton Goodbottle, Disbanded Crow, Tecco, Amphazinus, Mushan Gaming, Tomas Rogers, That One Brit, Suelovino, Pachinador. I can teach Portuguese too. <laughs> okay, I can see it. Lovino would be uh, Little Wolf or Wolf. So your Wolf, Pachinador Skater. Skating. Okay, thank you. Wolfie, the polyglot. Uh, there's also Nosty Rogue Scholar, Barry Wilburn, Esteed, Anon, SLE Photo, Harper Evolution, Justin Martin, Malice Silo, Army Guy 007, Mr. Fabulous, Lou, Bunny, Tiny the Taxman, Meryl, Mr. Rickles, Anand, Darth Mythis, Red Death 48, Always Able, Moon, Old Bean UK, Kalua Bear, The Swaggy Llama, Cody, Art Lowe, my first Spanish teacher, Pierce Talish, and Christian Cleopa. <laughs> Thank you to all of you. I hope you will all be as good to yourselves as you are to me, and I will talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>